Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I am Arif, your Cloud Learning Journey Partner. Well, first of all, I want to apologize for uploading video after a very long time because I was preparing for my ISSP exam and guess what? I finally achieved it, which is a very good accomplishment from my perspective. Today, we're gonna talk about top five security certification to must have in 2023. So without further delay, let's get started our video. The first certification that I'm gonna start with is CompTIA Security Plus. The best part of this certification is that it's a vendor needle certification. Uh, this is uh, pretty much like hands-on experience. So uh, if you get the certification, you'll know a lot about cybersecurity. Now let's look into the details about the certification. So this certification comes with 90 question and you have 90 minutes to answer. The good part is that the, the question is not that long, so you can easily uh, answer all the questions if you know the course material very well. The passing issue is 750 out of 900, so you have to really study well to get certified. The exam price is uh, 392 USD. It is less compared to other certifications, security certifications, and for that reason, I suggest you start with this certification. The second certificate that I'm gonna talk about is AWS Certified Security Specialty. We all know that uh, cloud is uh, becoming a very big thing and the major concern whenever we're talking about cloud is the security. So every organization wants to adopt cloud technology nowadays but their main concern is that whether their data that they were stored in cloud are secure or not so if you know cloud security that means you are in good terms so we know that aws is the uh, market leader in cloud industry so if we know aws security it will definitely open many doors for us so for that reason i highly recommend this certification so let's uh, look into this certification this certification is not for beginner. If we see the requirements or the description here, so it is uh, suggesting that five years of IT security experience in designing and implementing security solutions and two years of hands-on experience in securing AWS workload. So it's definitely not for the beginner. Um, I already said for the exam and uh, I can still recall the questions were very long and all are scenario based. So you have to know the technology, how to uh, how to integrate multiple AWS services together and how to maintain each and every service security. Uh, my best advice to pre prepare for the certification is to actually uh, create an AWS account first and try to use different AWS services and then try to create some projects, try to uh, play around with AWS security services. So in this way, you will definitely get the hands-on experience which will help you to actually pass this certification. And here, the level is a specialty. So in AWS, it start with the be beginner, then the associate, and then a professional and specialty. So definitely this is not for the beginner one. Uh, the length of the exam is 170 minutes to complete the exam and the cost is 300 USD. And I can definitely tell you this certification is uh, worth the money. If you have this certification under your LinkedIn profile, under your uh, CV, you will get a lot of attention and uh, it will help you to land a very good job. My third pick is CISSP which stands for Certified Information System Security Professional. It was a dream for me to get the certification. My master's was in information system assurance management, which was 50% of cybersecurity and 50% of information audit. And f from the very first day, I have one target in mind. Someday I'm gonna get this CISSP. And so at the very beginning of this video, I showed you a certification that was this one. So this is a very special one for me because this certification is the world's premier security certification. So in IT security industry, this is very much in certification. So if you have it under your belt, then it is a very concrete proof that you know your stuff very well. I must tell you the preparation for this certification was not an easy way for me. So you have to know all the IT related concepts. 
there are almost uh, eight domains of uh, CISSP. You have to be master of all of the domain and uh, you need to know how to secure each and every elements of IT. For instance, you have to know how to secure a router, how to secure a switch, how to secure a cloud related uh, database and everything that comes in IT, you have to know how to secure it. So it's a very good certification and it's a very advanced level certification. Uh, once you get the certification, then you also have to show the proof of five years of work experience, full-time work experience in IT security field. So this is an advanced level certification, but definitely you should consider it. If you have the experience and if you know security well, then please, please go for this certification. Once you have it, then you can definitely get benefit out of it. The certification cost is uh, 749 USD. Uh, it's uh, an advanced certification, that's why the price is a little bit high, but uh, definitely uh, worth it to get this certification. The fourth certification I'm gonna talk about is CCSP, which stands for Certified Cloud Security Professional. Um, if your day-to-day -day job really require you to actually focus on cloud, then uh, this is the certification that you should go for. Uh, so this certification will help you to actually showcase your understanding about cloud concept, cloud security control. So once you have it, then uh, definitely you can see yourself, yes, I am an expert in cloud security. Here you can see who earns the CCSP. So here you can see if you are a cloud architect, cloud engineer, cloud security analyst, cloud specialist, then you are the right candidate to actually go for this uh, CCSP exam. Again, uh, this is also not a, a beginner or mid-level certification. This is also an advanced level certification, but uh, uh, your end goal should, should be to actually get this certification under your belt. The CCSP exam cost is 549 USD, which is cheaper than the CISSP. This is uh, a certification that I'm planning to prepare for. And the good thing is that if you get the CISSP certification, a lot of training material overlaps with CCSP. So my strategy for now is, as I already achieved this CISSP certification, my next goal is to actually go for this uh, CCSP certification. The fifth certification that uh, I would suggest is uh, CCSK, which is stand for Certificate of Cloud Security Knowledge. I also achieved this certification and the good part about this certification is that it will definitely help you to uh, clear the concept that will help you to actually clear your CISSP and CCSP certification. So here you can learn the very deep knowledge about cloud, cloud security, cloud models, cloud, uh, different layer of cloud computing. And once you have this certification, then you will definitely be able to showcase your knowledge about cloud security. Uh, the good part about the certificate is that it is an open book certificate. So um, you will see the questions and uh, you can have to answer the question in a, a limited time, but you can use any course material. But, but you have to know the course materials very well because the time is very limited. So if you don't know the course material, then uh, you will run out of time. So my suggestion is uh, please take this certification to learn the concept to clear your uh, understanding about cloud security which will help you in the long run the cost of ccsk certification is 395 usd uh, this is a very good certification to have and it will help you to stand out than other candidates in the job market so very highly recommended Congratulations guys for reaching this far of this video. So today I try to cover five certificates, specifically uh, security certificates that I think are very valuable in today's job market. Well, uh, we know that uh, today 
in this current world the most valuable thing is data and uh, the major concern for any organization is to protect their data and how can we make sure that uh, our data are secured then we have to uh, implement the security controls but if we want to implement the security controls first we need to know what need to be protected and how and we need to know the procedure the proper steps and everything for that we need to have the knowledge and how we can build this knowledge these certifications that are listed today will definitely help you to get those knowledge uh, i know security is a very big thing it's uh, mostly it's, it's based on hands on but if you start your uh, certification journey in the meantime you are learning and you will have an goal yeah, a proper guideline how to learn a thing so for that reason i always suggest to actually go for certification even whenever i get some free time i just uh, uh, try to clear some certification to learn more and more and more in it everything is related and uh, for every sort of elements you need to know how to secure you need to know how to secure cloud you need to know how to secure other infrastructure so security is a mandatory thing to understand in today's it industry um, i hope this video helped you guys to uh, list down some security certification and please uh, like and subscribe to my channel for future videos like this and goodbye for today